by each other. And just like that, we are on check one, two, one, two. I can't hear myself. Mm-hmm. Can you turn up my headphones, baby? Yo, 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 yo. Check, check, check. Yeah. Check, yeah. check, check. We good? Yo. Can you guys hear yourselves? I can't hear yeah, myself. Yeah, yeah, No, we can't hear ourselves. Play boy. How about now? How about now? Yo, yo, yo. Oh, this is unplugged or no? No, you guys are I good. plugged in, though. Okay. Everything good over does here. Does this need to be plugged in? I think this does. Did it come? Yeah, plug it in. Oh. <laughs> Come on, my boy. Come on, my boy. Go on, do my job, shit. Shit, that's how you know we're live. Let's go. Welcome to the Black Eyed Podcast, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, okay. We are now, shit, bro. Man, shit, Let's go. Can you hear me now? Yeah, Microphone. I can hear you. Check, we Brought live. Go another room. Can you hear me now? Yeah, we good. Man, but how about these cowboys right now putting a smash on the fucking shit. Buccaneers? 24 zip. Yep. We in the a blowout, bro. I'm yeah. not. I wouldn't doubt it if Moons gets all lit and fucking. <laughs> Starts going on. Hey, you know, Brady's trying to lose on purpose because I heard he wants to go to the Raiders, fool. The, well, I mean, <laughs> it's been talked about the last few weeks. We'll, we'll see what happens, but I don't think he's going anywhere, bro. He need to go home, take care of that shit with his wifey or his oh. ex-wife. Is oh. it? Come on, man. You already got like how many rings now? Seven <laughs> and then five MVPs. It's like he just lost the ring. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Huh. Like, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Shit. No, but you know what, man? Bust of luck. You can't. You can't cut Brady out so fast, bro. Wait to the fourth quarter because you already know, man. Fourth quarters when they come alive, and we already witnessed that this week uh, with the Seahawks and the 49ers over yeah. the weekend. Yeah, but it's not the same. It's a wrap. Yeah, it's a wrap. <laughs> All right, wrap. y'all hear a voice? So wait, come closer to this mic, man, because I know you soft spoken, and yeah. uh, that's good sometimes. I know the ladies like that sometimes. Oh uh, yeah. Hey, welcome to the Blackout Podcast, <laughs> by the way, man. Uh, it's Martin Luther King Day, first and foremost. Happy hey, MLK man. Day to each and every one of you out there. And a special day right here, of course. And all these motherfuckers, just because you got the day off, don't forget what today <laughs> means. That's all I'm going to say. All right, so uh, with that being said, today's guest, man, my brother. Look at him. He's saying move over. Move oh, that shit. cup over, too. All right. This is how we do it, baby. Yeah. I.E. to the Bay Area. Money B. Digital Underground in the building. Hey, that's right. What up, dog? So, bro. Uh, yeah. So, back to the football talk. We mentioned the 49ers really quick, man. Oh, uh, yeah. Dude, I, I saw you went to the game over the weekend. Oh, yeah. Last, well, the last two weekends, actually. Oh, that wasn't this past weekend? That the one the, 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 with the Seahawks? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. No, no. I'll I went to the by. Raider game. Oh, that was the Raider game. Yeah, we oh, put shit. the smash on the Raiders. Oh, and then, uh, shit. <laughs> on the New Year's? Was it a New Year's game? Yeah, New Year's Day. Yeah. And then we went right back and took, because my son is a um, Chiefs fan. Mm-hmm. So we took him back the next week to let him check out the Chiefs. Okay. I didn't so know. Was, okay. You cool. know, Money B got it like that. You know, <laughs> yeah. let me just take two trips back oh, and back. Man, you, know, you know what I'm saying? Hey, sometimes you got to You got to go for out. your team. What? Shit. I went out for my son. I don't give a fuck about that. Hello. <laughs> See that? Get, get a, for the fathers yeah. out there. Yeah, man. That, that you know, <laughs> had to do it. Had to do it. Got like I was saying earlier, I'm so glad I did the show this week. Yeah. I see y'all happy and shit with the Cowboys and whatnot. Yeah, <laughs> damn. Damn. And, and this dude watching you like, y'all feeling yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. Say, y'all feeling good right now. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and since we live on air, you know, I got whatever shit. on mine. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Because he knows. Lay it down. Hey, man. They, they, are, they are looking really great. With Prescott doing his thing, man, everybody just, uh, they, they really want it. I know they do. You know, but I, at the same token, Fortnite looking really good. Samuel, yeah. man, and Cafferty, bro, they just smashing right now, bro. I'm feeling confident. Yeah. See, you don't want to speak too I'm much on it. Like, you don't want to jinx it. All right. Nah, I ain't going to jinx it. No, shit. Um, also, we, were just, we just got off uh, my live right now, man, mm-hmm. and uh, we were on there talking about there's like a, there's something floating around, right? Chicano rap. Yeah, there's like people saying, like, oh, I'm the king of Chicano rap. And <laughs> everyone's saying, you know. Couple artists out there mentioning that. Yeah, I saw it earlier, fucking, and I was like, "Who's this fool?" And then he was like, "It's that one fool." When everybody knows, yeah. I'm the king of Chicano rap. Damn, <laughs> damn. Oh, there it is. I didn't know. <laughs> you know what's what's interesting is is that because um, I was talking to uh, my boy Royalty, we were on live right now, and he was like, "Man, you know, you you're Chicano rap. That's it. You know, we started by by this." I said, "No, hold on. I have a different definition uh, mm-hmm. of of not definition. Um, what's the word I'm looking for?" Um, how the history started that first off i didn't know it was called chicano rap we were labeled as chicano's rap uh, chicano rap until i walked into a record store one day back in the 90s and because when we came out y'all like, was just doing rap right? lighter shade of brown was doing hip-hop rap yeah, yeah we was rapping hip-hop. And, and and i was right next to ll cool j 
So what you had the L, and then you had LL, right? Lighter shade, right? But then one day I walked in and I didn't see us next to LL Cool J no more, and I was like, "What's going on?" Oh, right. the guy goes, "Oh, you got to go to the back over there. Uh, we have a Chicano rap section." Wow. And that's why I was just segregation. Like, Segre. Thank you. See, for real. Thank you. Why can't it just be hip hop? So now there is like, okay, I get it. From that point on, it was just we were labeled as Chicano rap, man. Now let me ask you something, as a black artist, right? How do you view Chicanos or Latinos in general doing rap music? Like, what do you do? You, do you do you look at us, view us as rappers, hip hop, or do you say, oh, do you say, oh, hey man, you know that Chicano rapper? Well, like you said, remember, I was I was around and in it before we had the labels, right? So, you know, one of the first people I ever met, like when we left the Bay Area, right. I think the first time we came down as artists to Los Angeles. Um, was 1989, right? This was when Do What You Like, our single, yeah. came out. Smash. And one way. of the first people I ever, first people I met when I came to LA was Sin Dog and, and Mello and, mm. and you know, the whole Cypress crew. Right, right, because, right when the waves kind of start, yeah, started. Well, well, it was before they came out. They weren't even out oh, yet. Oh, shit, okay. Because my, my guy, I can't think of his name, um, he used to manage them and the Poetess. And, um, Shout out to Poetess. And, you know, we should let those guys just hang out with us. So they used to just come to our shows. And when I used to come down from, from the Bay, I used to bring Sin, Sin Dog. I used to bring him weed on the plane. You know, back then it was easier to, to fly around. Okay. So I used to always bring the Bay Area weed down. He'd pick me up from the airport, take me back down to, you know, to the hood or whatever. Dope, man. Dope, man. And, yeah, that's him. That's dope. And the funniest thing about that was, you know, because, like I said, I'm not from L.A., so I don't really know everything that's going on. And it took me a long time to figure out what they were down where, where what? Yeah, what it was. With, with the Latinos were doing. No, 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 no. no. I'm talking about between, you know, because in L.A., back then, see, back in the late 80s, hip-hop, especially from L.A., you would never say what your gang affiliation was or what you were. Oh, I got you. You had to figure it out. Okay. So it used to be a joke between us going down. He's like, how long is it going to take for us to know, figure out? Where they from? You know what yeah. they are. Whether they're yeah, I don't want to be in this street too long in case I'm in the wrong clear. area. Or something. So because nobody would brag about it, you know, you just see it. And I just remember one time I was on the block with um, with um, damn, I can't think of his name, but uh, we were watching the um, second to none video. Okay. And you know, I'm looking at the video, and you know, it was their first one when they had it was like black, black and white, mm. but everything was just red. Oh, um, be true to yourself. Keep be true to yourself. Yeah, yeah, that one. Yeah, and then <laughs> I remember we sitting there, and it was like, finally, we being represented. And I was like, what? I was like, they're not, they're not Latin. And then I was like, oh, I get it, because they would never wear like no red shit. Oh, I see, around. I see, I got you. But, being from Compton, you you would assume that they would though, right? Or no, they lived in um um what the fuck is they Southgate. Was where no, I'm not talking about second and none. Oh, you talking about B real? We were oh, watching, send off, we were send watching off. second and none's video. Oh, okay, okay. And I was kicking it with B real and all, all right. them. And B real Excuse was like, me, man. Oh, he was like, finally, we, we being represented. Got you. And I didn't know what the fuck he was talking about until I had to just kind of think for. Wait, a who said that? B real said it. B real said, finally, we're being represented. Yeah, because at the time, most of you know, NW, everything was blue, 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 blue. When he saw Second to None's video. Yeah. Okay. And I had to figure it out because I was, wait a minute, Second to None, they, they not Latin. Okay. Right. Oh, okay. Because they were rocking red. They're yeah, all flamed they were up. Rocking red. Yeah, they were rocking red. Yeah. And I was, so they never would say it, but I had to figure it out. So any back then, when you would go to different areas in LA, you figure it out. Yeah. Meaning, like, those guys used to hang with us all the time. And so, but I knew they were dope. Like their their original demo, I had their original demo. Mm. I actually shopped it to um, Hollywood Basic, and they turned it down. Cypresses, Cypresses. Okay, okay. Their demo was was basically the album. So their demo was their album. So they they had finished product. Mm. What was the label? Um, that you that you shopped it to? Hollywood Basic. That okay. was the label that we were signed to. Okay. It was us organized confusion with Pharrell Munch. Right. And, and Hollywood Electric, right? No, they were Hollywood Basic was part of Hollywood Records. Okay, got you. Which Hollywood Records, you know, that's part of the whole Disney. Right, thing. right, like right. The, the label was on Disney lot, so when we used to go to the label. We used to have to go and we'd get all this Disney shit. Yeah, <laughs> it was hot. Gangster rappers coming through, getting some <laughs> but, Disney but shit. I, but, but I think <laughs> to answer your serious? question, 
So back then, I never really thought of it as like a separation. It was just hip hop. Because remember when hip hop started, you know, even back when when B boying started with with the graffiti and and the breakers and everything mm. back on the East Coast, it was all it was Latin and Black as well, Puerto right. Ricans and, and you know it was all the same. We were all mm. on the same playing field. I think, um, and I, you know, I might be wrong, but I think the first time I, that I ever heard like that term was right around when Kid Frost was started, and then it was like. Um, some of the more street style Latin rappers that were just strictly talking that like gangster that shit, that gangster like shit, gangster shit, gangster raza. Latin. Yeah, first all, time you ever heard that? Term? Yeah, when they started talking all that shit, then it just then that's when it started being different because if you're talking, um, you know, talking about Latin street shit, I I can't relate. I don't know nothing about it. Like you're speaking and saying terms that I just you know that I don't and purposely. That's the language. We didn't understand it. You right. know what I mean, so and not so much that where you go between speaking Spanish and English. It wasn't that. It was talking about it's, it's specifically what you were talking about. Now let me ask you this. Stop you right there. In the Bay Area where sure. you grew up at, right? Did, had you heard of any? Because I know, like Mexicans and mm -hmm. blacks up there get along different than down here. Mm -hmm. Can we? Is that safe to say? Fair to say? Yeah, um, kind of blended a little better. A little better. So who was the first, like, what, were there already Latin rappers, or Latins doing rap, doing that uh, uh, at that time in 89, 90 in the yeah, Bay Area? Yeah, it was. Um, my father actually used to manage uh, a, a, a Mexican rapper. I can't think of his name. He's my guy. And um, Not Cisco. No. Shout out to Cisco, man. But, what up, man? But Fisco, very man. briefly, um, uh, my dad, he managed some of the um, Scratch Pickles, you know, like Qbert and all of those guys. Oh, DJ Qbert. Oh, yeah, but it wasn't Qbert. It was I think it was yeah. DJ. Uh, OG. Was, it, was it Disc? Right. I think it might have been Disc. But you know, because my dad lived in San Francisco, so that whole scene was happening. Okay. Right. Um, so to be honest with you, I didn't. There wasn't that much of a separation, especially in the Bay. Right. Because we was all just spitting game anyway. Right. So mm. if it was if it was a a Mexican rapper, he was talking the same street shit that we were, mm. you know. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't recall saying like this is you guys over here. Yeah, it wasn't until later on, like you said, when it got labeled. Yeah, and then there was this whole wave of music that I re remember coming in, and you know, at the time, like say early '90s, I thought I knew everything about hip hop. Right, but then, you know. I would get around cats and they'd be like, yeah, you know, little this and, you know. <laughs> Funny he said little first because you, yeah, know, you know the know little rappers coming. Little, yeah, little yeah, this yeah. And little so they didn't have any rappers and, up there named little whatever, and, little, little. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what all these guys call themselves. And um, I was like, damn, I don't know none of these people. Yeah. So then I started to realize there's a whole pocket yeah. or, not that I don't even, I'm unaware of. Mm. And then <clears throat> I want to say, uh, Late nineties, um, I used to be really cool with um remember Kool Aid? Yeah. And she had the show. Yeah. Uh Pocos Pero Locos. Yep, Pocos yep. Pero Locos. Mm -hmm. And then I remember and then uh, um what was her guy? I think they E one. Oh right, DJ E E E E one E dub, thank you. E dub, yeah, 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 my yeah. guy. So I remember, you know, we used to go out to hang out with them in Ventura. Okay. To their Studio yeah, they played a big part in, in playing, you know, yeah, Latinos so, doing rap, right. whatever. So when her Chicanos, whole show, yeah. I'll be hearing a whole wave of all this music that I never, yeah, that I wouldn't, I wouldn't be privy to unless I heard it on that show. Yeah, because it was a whole, um, like I said, a whole genre of music that I was just unaware of. Okay, right? so, and <clears throat> and um, yeah, because Kool Aid, she was helping me to try to get into radio, and and um. And doing like voiceover stuff, right? So shout out to Kool Aid. So That's close I mean. to close out this conversation. Then sure. going back to my original question, when you see now that you know the culture, now what's going down? You know, down here, you know what I'm saying? Right. At, in Southern California, mm -hmm. are we? Are we? Are you label us as Chicano rap? I don't. Okay. What do you, you know, label? What, what's the term? It's hip hop. I want to hear it from Money B. What's the term? It's it's hip hop. Hip hop. Hip -hop. There it right? is. He said. But but. You know, it's kind of like, and I felt the same way about gangster rap. We never called our music gangster rap. It was a label that was given to us. Mm -hmm. And then 
once it was given to us and then they were able to section it off, that's when, you know, we started to buy into it. Mm -hmm. We didn't have to buy into it. We did. Same thing, you know, if you, if you want to call yourself Chicano rap or whatever, that's fine. But to me, you know, it's, it's hip-hop. It's hip-hop first. Here, here's, and then here's, we can get into all these different genres the same way. Exactly. The same way I always ha I have a really hard time, you know, out, out of my mouth. Right. Saying, oh, that trap music or that. You know, it's just yeah. hip-hop. It's just it's a different style. It's different regions do it different Thank ways. you. But I don't like this. Because if I say, oh, you know who do that trap stuff? Or they do that uh, East Coast or that boom bap stuff. It's kind of like now you're starting to separate. And it's a divide. Mm -hmm. and, I don't, and I don't like to do that. KK was on the show um, from Second to None mm -hmm. a couple week, weeks back, right? And uh, he had an interesting point. He said, East Coast, and we they labeled, that's hip-hop, right? Yeah, and he started with the what was the, the four boroughs in New York? Yeah. I don't know four or five. I I, I don't know. Yeah, five different boroughs. Five, five different boroughs. Okay, Come and, on, then, man. and then he said, <laughs> I, I, I've been in New York twice. Geography. Uh, so, so then on the West Coast, he says, "Well, we're rap," and you said rap. That was the first thing that came out of your mouth when I asked you about it. And you said rap. You didn't say hip hop first. You said rap. But to me, it's like, bro, hip hop is the umbrella to me. Word. And we're rapping. Right. Right? Chicanos are, are, are who are doing rap are doing hip-hop. True. And they're rapping off the same beats for the most part. You might sample in some of the oldies or whatever. But right. Still, it's, still a, a, it's still a beat. So both coasts, for the record, is hip-hop. Top. Yeah, it's, it's all hip-hop. But I understand, like, so, for instance, you can take a country song and rap over it that doesn't make it but that does to me that makes it hip-hop if you know like i always tell people you know i can whatever i rap over is hip-hop because i'm hip-hop mm -hmm. right so if you give me if it's opera if it's country yeah. if it's a trap beat or if it's boom bap whatever it is if i do it it's hip-hop right like i it, because it, i am i'm the embodiment of i embody it Right. So, you know, I don't I don't feel a way. If I like it and I say I'm going to do it, whatever I do is done. And it's hip-hop for me. When somebody comes to you, Moons, and says, hey, man, hey, let me hear you. They don't say, let me hear you hip-hop. No, they don't mean you rap. They say, let me hear you rap. Bust a flow, yeah. Okay, rap, flow, whatever. So there it is, man. I want to go to uh, It was just topic of conversation because yeah. today was floating all over like Chicano media. You know what I'm saying? Straight. And I want to give like props. Black, like black Twitter? Yeah, 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 yeah pretty much. <laughs> but we're caught, you know, they got the food community out there. Shout yeah. out to them. Oh, uh, there's so many different platforms who put on for the culture. You know what I'm saying? And and, and we follow them. And it's important, you know, to, to know what's going well, who, on with who, our community. Who's the dopest right now? Who should I be checking for? <sighs> well, I mean, shit. Well, who's doing it? Uh, I follow. Let's see. Who's gone wild? Obviously, if I want the my last, the, huh? the food, the food community. Yeah, they post a lot of shit. Are you talking about rappers? Yeah. Are you talking about what? Rappers or platforms? Rappers. Oh shit! All right, rappers. Shit, there's a bunch right now, bro. Mexican rappers. Hey, uh, who's the hot new nigga? <sighs> Fuck, there's King Lil G, Young Drummer Boy, fucking Money Moons. Money Moons. Yep. Okay. Who you else? said who? who who's <laughs> the hot new nigga? That's what you just said. Yeah. What do you think about Mexicans uh, calling each other, rapping, using the N-word? You know what? It's, it's, it's tough because if I hear something like, say, I hear somebody Latin or Mexican that says it. Right. I can tell how they say it. You know, if they, So it's if how they, they comes well, out their well, mouth, their well, tone. Well, no, it's, 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 it's a cultural thing, right? So, you know, I know, I know white people that grew up. And black neighborhoods, like from neighborhoods that I know, mm. that's they talk like everybody that, that they yeah. grew up talking right. like. They shouldn't do it. And as they get older, they tailor it back. Mm. But if it slips out, I get it, right? Yeah. Yeah. And I just be like, well, if somebody else hears it that, that don't know, know you like that, you might have to deal with it a different way. Exactly. So it's, it's the same way. Or repercussions, way. yeah. So like yeah, it's the same way. So if you, shit, if, huh? you, yeah. if you feel that comfortable, and I'm saying if you're Hispanic, Latin, or whatever, if you feel, and I can, I can kind of tell because I, you know, like my family's from Philadelphia, mm. right? So it's a lot of Puerto Ricans, and they they talk the same way we talk and say it the same way, right? Right, and then <clears throat> even like um, you know, I, I'm go back to it like 
when I used to first come down here and, and I used to hang out with Sin Dog. He'd be like, oh, the fake ass niggas. Right? Yeah. And it's like, that's how he talked. Yeah. So the first time I hear it, I always go like, but then <laughs> if they comfortable in their skin saying it like that, that's on them. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. so Sin Dog and they were, they were saying the same thing? Or are you talking about? Yeah. They, they, oh, okay. That's, they talk like us. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like shit. We went, it's like we went to Texas, dog. They were just dropping that shit everywhere. Yeah. We're at the club, all Mexican foods. Right, right. Well, that's our, that's how they talk on the lingo. Because it's you know, when I just said, I was like, "Who's the hot new nigga?" Like, yeah. I'm not saying it like, "Who's the hot new black person?" Yeah. Yeah. Right, we're, right. We're obviously <laughs> talking about Chicano rappers, right? And you just say it, but even <clears throat> so, myself, right? <clears throat> I I can say that in conversation, but I purposely try not to use it in my music i remember going I to the bay area it. back in the 90s and the mexicans were saying it out there yeah. that that's why i first heard a mexican say the n-word yeah. loosely like nah you know holding their nuts and, and this right that's and what i'm saying that that. We, we but what's crazy is that right? you know southern california mexicans are doing the same thing you know what i'm saying yeah yeah like, and it might be different it's yeah the it's a different culture you know? i get it i just i wanted your perspective though you feel me yeah but you, but does that make sense like it when does I hear it and if I know you and I know that you grew up around that, it's like you can't help it. That's just how you grew up talking. Yeah. Now, if I don't know you and I meet you and I, I can kind of gauge by. Yeah. I, you know what I mean? Can I, can, I, can I say it to this? Can I joke with you like that? Are you going to take it wrong? Yeah, but if somebody <laughs> just says it naturally, yeah. I, I can, you know what I mean? I can tell. Right. And then, I'm, you know, I might just go like, I'll, I'll take a double look. <laughs> like, work. And then I'm like, all right. <laughs> Like if they're over, it's if not. They, it's not like, my job to police that. If they're like overusing that shit, you're like, what the fuck? Huh? Now, if you, you they're know, abusing now you, it. Now you can, you can also tell somebody just on some, some, some bullshit. You yeah. know what I mean? Just trying to take advantage or trying to be that, and I'll be like, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, no, I get and that it's, totally. It's, just, it's a vibe thing. I, I, feel, I, I can't explain it, but I, but I know the difference. I feel that, man. So you know how they put like Mexican rappers in a category, right? How come they don't put like white rappers or Chinese rappers or them in like uh, their own category? They're just rap, hip hop shit. You well, know? we kind of do. You think so? Yeah. Do I'm, you say, "Hey, man, he's a Chinese rap"? Like, that Chinese rapper's dope. No, but before Eminem, anytime you heard of a white rapper, the first thing you think about is Vanilla Ice, and you kind of even before you get to dig into what he's talking about, mm -hmm. you play some. Oh, he's. One of them white rappers. Right. That's how it used to be. So I think M probably broke down some of those doors. I get it. I get it. Same as with us and, and, and Mellow Man Ace when we first started. Because the culture, hip-hop culture, wasn't used to hearing uh, a different color. You know what I'm saying? Right. Shade of skin. Right. Rap. Do hip-hop. You know what I'm saying? And that's where the wave started. But shit, man. I mean, dude, hip-hop, there's, there's enough room for everybody, man. I've always said that. And I was, as I was young, I never thought that. You know what I'm saying? I was proud of who I was, but I mean, I grew up on Digital Underground. I grew up on NWA, yeah. Cube, as we said it earlier. Oh. And, I, and lastly, I'll just add, like it's it's now it's just out of control because um, I say in the last couple of years <clears throat> we were in Europe, right? And a guy was playing me German trap music, and the shit was dope. Mm. You feel me? Like it's like they don't need us; they got their own thing, and it and it, it has its own specific sound, and it's dope. You yeah. know what I mean? And it's called German Trap. That's what they, they say. You ever yeah. heard German Trap? I was like, German Trap. It's like how many know. different versions of house music are there? <laughs> A lot. Tech Shit, house, uh -huh. deep house. Progressive house. house. Exactly. And then also, back in the day, we used to be, like, you know, we were we toured Japan, and they have um, Japanese reggae artists. Straight. That's, that's crazy. <laughs> that's yeah, fucking wild. That. That's and, when you know and, music's universal, right? And they're dope. That's they dope. were dope. You know what I mean? Like if you closed your eyes and you would think that they was you was listening to some some brothers, some Rasta Jamaican, yeah. but they're Japanese. Yeah. And they, you know, they they loved it and studied it to where they got that shit down. We want to um, fast forward here now, and we want to dip into some, uh, some some good shit because we got our audience here. I see them in the super super chat. Shout out to everybody in the super chat right now. You already know it's lit. By the way, you want to drop a couple of dollars? You know what I'm saying? Goes towards the cause. You got a question you want to hit? Hit Wait. that super chat right there. Money beef digital undergrounds on the platform. What's up? You heard the um, song me and Mello did. Uh, <laughs> can't, uh, can't shout me a dollar. Uh, hey, how bro, much money did you guys make bro, off the promo hey, though? Yeah, hey, that was actually, genius. Shit. I actually got cash up. Yeah, <laughs> no shit. I was like, that's damn. Tight. You figure you got like a hundred thousand followers if they each cash up you a dollar. Shit, it's a hundred grand. 
That was we, genius. We, we were talking about it in the last podcast and, yeah. and how, how genius it was, how Melo just – he started, you know, going online and he was like hitting up everybody for money, like cash up me a dollar. This and I was like, how about the call his ass? Like, bro, you good? Oh man! And what wow. a marketing, you know. It was dope. And then, um, and even the producer of that song, Condor, he's from San Francisco. Yeah. So he got that Bay Area flavor. How so, much did they cash up you though? Like, how much did you get total? How much did I get? Overall, he ain't gonna tell you the whole. Truth. <laughs> no, I'm gonna tell you the truth. Nah, he can he can the keep truth. it 100. Or yeah, money just go when, when taxes were before taxes. Are <laughs> nah, 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 nah. <laughs> it wasn't even like that. It's all it cash like, up, dog. For real, I probably got close to maybe like thirty something, forty bucks. Just motherfuckers sending me oh, dollar shit. or dollar, but but randomly. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> the got right. a dollar. like I didn't ask for it. Be like three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> You've got two dollars. Hey. Hell yeah, man. All money's good money. Well, I'm about to money. repost no, that video. God damn. <laughs> yeah, that shit looked right. fun, though. Oh, it was dope. Yeah. How, when, how'd you the guys, he just hit you up, you know what I'm saying? And just said, like, But nah, he was like, bro, I got a, I got a, um, a track I think you might sound good on, right? And I heard it, and I was like, yeah, this shit is dope. And then he was like, yeah, my man Condor, he's from, he's from the Bay, too. And it kind of made sense that he, I guess he thought he had a Bay sounding beat. Oh, so the track was made by a Bay, Bay Area producer. A Bay Area producer, okay, gotcha. right? And I didn't even trip off of it, but it just sounded like something that was that I would, you know. And immediately he with. thought Money B. Yeah, you that's know, dope. Word, and then we had the whole thing in the video. We put our real cash app. Yeah, that's hard on the video. Yeah, we saw that. That's smart yeah. as hell, man. I'm telling you, that was that was genius marketing. So let's do a remix, bro. Cash App, you know what I'm saying? Cash Five Shade $5. Brown, Money B. Cash App, we're going to up the ante, though. Five Cash bucks. $5. <laughs> hey, man. Call Melo. Tell him, let's do it. I'm with it. Blockout Podcast going down. Share the video. We're going to get to these questions, though, man, because there's so much on this brother right here. He's been doing it so long. Bro, how, how, you, how you stay looking so young, bro? Because you still look like, <laughs> you, know, you know what I'm saying? Late twenties, bro. My grandfather was a vampire, man. Is that what it is? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know you get that yeah, question yeah, you know, asked all little, the time. I got a little bit of, yeah, a little bit yeah. of vampire in you. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. A <laughs> little bit of vampire. Yeah. I don't even understand that fucking Smart. analogy. What does that mean? I, when I, I go to sleep. I don't know. You, you sleep. Eating a lot you sleep. Now, real talk though. You know what? I always say, you know, you eat your greens. I do. I eat, I eat, I eat some other stuff too. That you guys <laughs> yeah, can you cook? <laughs> can I cook? Yeah. Hell yeah. What's what's your what's your go to? Well, I know whenever we have fam family gatherings, yeah, they always ask me to make the greens. The greens. So I make greens. I make uh, green beans, I asparagus. Cook, I cook. Yep, seafood. I, you know, mm. I like seafood. Yeah, my chicken is off the chain. Uh, you know, I was on a uh, sugar free. You know what I don't know how to make? I've what? never made macaroni and cheese. No mac and cheese. I don't is know that how to right? Make mac and cheese. Yeah, that's got to be special, man, because it could didn't taste like anybody's but it, mac but and cheese. But you know, with certain foods, like you know. My wife, Tan Teasy. Shout out Tan Teasy. Tan Teasy. We you know, was hoping you'd be here. Next one, next one. Her, her family is from Louisiana, so she, her gumbo is. Oh, shit. I'm fire. So about the gumbo. No, they ever had gumbo? Yeah, gumbo's fucking bomb. There's no, what is there's no reason for me to ever even try it's to It's like the, the soup, it's like the, uh, it's like the Mexican version of menudo, like, fool. Yeah, there's like. Like you just throw a bunch of shit in there. Crabs. <laughs> for real, dog. Crab oh, and shit. shrimp. And, yeah, spicy. Oh, man, it's good. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Sausage. My, oh my sister's, uh, her friend's, uh, Creel, was it Creel? Yeah. She makes gumbo, she's fire. That's what I'm saying, so I, what's the use of me even ever needing to learn how to make gumbo? Yeah. It's never going to be as good as that. Hell That's no. True. But, um, yeah, I come from a family of, we like to cook. Yeah, what are you cooking on a Sunday afternoon? On a Sunday afternoon. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I like that. You see what I did there? <laughs> yeah, I like that. Oh, yeah. oh man. I'm grabbing my 40. <laughs> I'm grabbing my 40. <laughs> Hitting the park. Cash at me. <laughs> On a Sunday afternoon. Man, when we watching the Niners whoop ass. Huh. Uh, That's this Sunday. Yeah. We go, what like, are we going to watch today? Hey, you guys are the comeback like, kids like, last year. Like next Sunday. Man, I'm going to have to make that special. Who are you guys playing? The winner out of this game or yeah, the Cowboys? Oh, okay, it's gonna, be Cow the Cow it's gonna be the rematch of last year because we almost had you guys last year. Cowboys, so. yep. But unfortunately, the Niners won. What do you say? So. Almost. Yeah. Anyways, is that like, <laughs> is, is that like horseshoes? <laughs> <laughs> is that, is that, <laughs> hey, no comment. No comment. Oh, shit. Damn. Shout out to everybody in the super hey, chat. What's the score right now? For who's winning? It's uh, twenty-four zero. I yeah, this game Cowboys is over. Up. Yeah, I need to start. I it was 28, Third dog. quarter, seven twenty-five, seven minutes, twenty-five seconds left. Twenty-four Cowboys, zero Buccaneers. Don't count Brady out. 
Hashtag Man, don't count Brady hey, out. They're gonna goose egg him, fool. I'm telling you, don't. Yeah, the shutout is real. Yeah, it looks over. Though. It's over for sure, bro. Next week we got it. Pack it up. I need to put a uh, Dak on ice. Yeah, put me in. You need to put me in. <laughs> or that's running back in the whole team. <laughs> and I, I don't even run. Hey, fool, when you pull up, I'm all the kickers here. <laughs> Shit, I pulled my hamstring. Chill. That's gonna be an exciting uh, game, man. Yeah. Plus, we got an upgraded quarterback. Yeah, I saw that. My yeah. father in law is a Niner fan, so he's all excited right now. Mm. But I'm gonna we're gonna win next week, so you know I gotta go for the West Coast though, man. 49ers. I'm with you, bro. Oh, yeah. I, as much as I hate them be digging on my Rams every fucking You're just game, a cowboy bro. hater fool, that's what it is. <laughs> no, I'm not a cowboy hater, I'm just West Coast, baby to the fullest. Can I can you drop a bomb even though you're a cowboy fan? Thank you. I'm a cowboy you. hater. <laughs> drop a bomb for them. We, we, you know got what I'm we got him, we got him, we got him. Another one. You know what I'm saying? I just want some. I just want a good fucking game. I don't want a yeah. blowout. I, I want a good blow game. Out. I don't want a good. <laughs> <game>. <laughs> That's the stupidest shit ever. <laughs> hey, we're gonna have to play in San I wanna, Francisco. I want to huh? be sweating. Is it in San Francisco? We're gonna have to play in San Francisco, huh? Win. Are we playing the? In, yeah. yeah, at Levi. Oh. Yeah, you gotta come see us. Damn, damn. Mm. You guys go hard. Out there. Yeah, I do have a place to stay, so I don't know. Maybe. Ah, oh, damn. Digging the savings Might real quick. Go to the game. Go. This Sunday? Yeah. What am I yeah. doing this Sunday? What are we doing? Twenty sec. Uh, the twenty second, right? Or is it next Sunday? That's the twenty second. Okay. Next next week. So they're playing today, and then they play this this Sunday upcoming. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Damn. No break. None. Short week. Well, if you guys win, it's because we needed a break, you know. So, but we'll see. Hey, so, <laughs> hey, did you see um, Igazelia man? She got an OnlyFans account. No. She just dropped it, my my G, mm -hmm. 24 hours ago. She made 300 racks, 1,000 racks in 24 hours. Yeah. Doing and what? She got big exactly, fat ass. That's exactly. Well, she does, but she, from what I heard, because obviously I ain't paying that shit, but I heard a lot of motherfuckers looking for refunds. And when they start saying that, you know, maybe she, I, they got a picture on, on, on Twitter, you know, she's showing her titties, whatever, uh, a little bit of ass, but it, it ain't nothing crazy. I don't know what you expected from Iggy Azalea. I mean, I, well, I know what I would expect if I pay something, but I don't. I forgot how much. It, let's see here, um, three hundred seven thousand within twenty four hours. Subscribers can access all of Iggy's exclusive content for twenty five dollars per month. Now, for twenty five bucks a month, I better see some more than just right. But what are you expecting to see? That's what I posed the question. You only see so much, well, like. No, you know what I'm saying? Like them posting and and, and she's canceling it at the end of the year. So you got a whole year to look at Iggy's post. I don't know how often she's posting shit. Like, you know, she's been like gone a, for a she, while. That sound like a jip off the top. But she looked bad as fuck, though. Man. Put put that picture yeah, up, dog. Did you put old, it up already? Right, yeah, I did. She got big old culo. Is it on right now? Yeah. Throw that up there. We got a little bit of delay though. But 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 yeah, man. I mean, shit, but three hundred thousand racks. I told like, Torta Nader, you need to start one, bro, already. Yeah. Quit playing, man. Keep, start showing my feet. Show him the real Torta. Like, like, look, the feet finder? Is there, <laughs> is there, the tamale finder? Is there any man that has an OnlyFans? Yeah, there's a soccer player. I forgot his name, though. Yeah, <laughs> Danny follows him. <laughs> yeah. He subscribed. Yeah. Yeah. We, was, we was sending you cash that money. He was sending them OnlyFans money. Oh, doing shit. that shit. <laughs> Nah, Andale. Like you know that. the name. Don't act like nah, you know. I really don't. I, really don't. <laughs> I saw it on Explore, but you know. Explore page. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, it's only fourteen ninety nine. Well, you know what comes from the eighteen ninety nine. If it came on your Explore page, fool, that means the algorithm nah, means it was you're, like you're checking one of those out fake fan pages and shit. But all of a sudden, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it was another beer. I know there's rappers out there that do like X-rated videos and upload them to OnlyFans. Like the girls are topless and shit. A rapper. Yeah, there's rappers that do that shit. I mean, like the girls, huh? What rappers? No, like uh, who does it? Uh, fucking that full tiger. He he shoots X-rated videos. Oh, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. like like the girls topless and shit, and you gotta pay the monthly subscription he to see his videos. videos. Yeah, but it's not yeah. Tiger doing that shit, right? Huh? Well, it's his account. No, it's his. Oh, uh, yeah. Right, so he's he's shooting. No, yeah, he's, he's shooting shooting online pimping girls. is what yeah, he's yeah, doing. Basically, he's yeah. shooting music videos like. Of his X-rated yeah, yeah. X-rated video songs. Like X-rated oh, versions. Because yeah, he's like, been yeah. doing them, oh, them explicit videos back yeah. in the day, right? I remember, oh, can I get a taste? Like, What's the one? The, what was taste. the other one? Fool, the Make It Nasty back one. To my old ways. Come on, Fade man. Damn. Come on, man. Hey, sex yeah. settles, bro. Hey, bro, sex packets. <laughs> Let's go. Classic of all time. Finally, we're talking about some fucking digital underground. Money bees in the building right now. Hey, let's throw up that phone number right now so they can call us up. My man can answer some questions in just in a little bit. We got this nice little, you know, feature we're we going to drop on you that I uh -oh. stole from Money B. Just just for today. It's yeah. special. Um, speaking of, 
uh, you had a podcast too, man. I was on it. I was checking it out eight years ago or something like that. And then the Going Way Back Show. Hey, the Going Way Back Show. Now, first off, was that part of a network or was that your own thing on YouTube? That was that was our show, my own creation. The your going own creation. Back, the going Way Back Show, classic hip hop, raw and uncut. And so what happened is in 2008. So I'm like, I was one of the first guys really doing podcasts. It was an audio podcast that I did from my home. Yeah. And then. Um, you know, by 2013, I moved to moved into a streaming platform, streaming podcast platform. Right. So I, I went I went through a few different stations. But it remained, oh, that's what it was. Yeah. So it remained, you know, myself, Tyne, TZ, and DJ Always. Dude, it was the crew. I loved it. I, I caught, caught on to it. I was like, okay, this is what he'd been doing. Because I remember he had told me back in the day, yo, I'm starting my own shit back when I was at the radio station. Mm -hmm. And I was like, that's dope. That's dope. And so I just didn't know if it was part of a network, like, you know, like you just you just clarified that it was part of. So they let you come in. Was that your studio or was that their studio? How did that work? So same thing. You rent like the we're space. here. This is your podcast, right? You now rent say the space. If you, a, a station says, "Hey, bring your podcast to our station." You go to that station. If they're paying you, but it's still your show. Right. right? So it's our show. What we was just, the cut though? We just moved. That's what I want to know. Well, the what one the one station that we were at for a while. The reason we left because they didn't want to share, and it was one of their you know higher rated shows what do you mean they didn't want to share they didn't want to share like so, money money oh right so you know how i got to go you know if you're on a, a station i think it's um it's i forget what the what the what the acronym is but it's per thousand views you you know you get paid a certain amount yeah and they didn't realize that we knew how to get that information and they weren't sharing it and they weren't you know they were trying to be like you know but we'll just, you know, for every ad you bring in, we'll split it with you. Mm. But they weren't talking about the money that they were making just on the views. On the views. Because you were still green. You didn't really know about the uh, analytics and stuff, right? Or, At first or I somebody didn't, but then put somebody, you on. somebody put me on. Yeah. And then when I started asking questions and like that, then it, it got got strange. Yeah. It got weird. Yeah, you opened then your we, eyes. Yeah, then we left. And then I, you know, once again, I brought it back. And just we, like them yeah. record contracts back in the day. It's, it's <laughs> right. exactly like that. It's, like, oh. it's usually like that. With, with business yeah and 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 they you know a lot of times it doesn't matter what the industry is they treat us like we don't know what's happening yeah you know what i mean sure because we're from where we're from and so once you let mm. them know that you're on top of it then that's when it gets funny yeah well let me tell that's you something it. man the internet it's a big universal encyclopedia it's, it's everything on there so you were about to find out. I can't believe they did that shit, man. You a legend, man. To just even think about it. And, and the content that you had was was so dope. Like, I mean, we're bringing OGs in here, such as yourself. You you was doing. You had everybody from under the sun, man. I enjoyed watching it myself. Well, and man, you had ads running. You 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 guys had a whole system. Now the guys in the back that were, because this is my personal question. Like, what well, they were, you know, like like what Danny does. He, he's hitting sure. the switch. But you had like three cats back there. Was that part of their team or yours? Um. Depending on where I was and at the time, usually when I was at a station, they had, um, you know, an engineer that would work work the boards okay. and the video and shit like that for okay. us. But you know, a lot of those guys at even at those stations, they were just interns there. So some of them even went on to do things like um, what's, what's the homegirl name? Uh, uh, her name Jenny Hollywood, Jackie Hollywood. I don't know if you ever heard her. She went mm. did radio in the Bay, but she was an intern at one of the stations that I was. But now she's she got her own thing popping off, um, and you got you, you're bringing the show back, right? Or no? Um, or, or a different I, twist? I, I haven't decided yet, because to be honest with you, even the episodes that we have, because it is classic hip hop. So those episodes, if you're really interested in, you know, um, the history of of the hip of the music, right. and the artists that created it, that content is still relevant. Mm. If you want to go back. And check it out. You know, yeah. I, I like I I've, I got a um. I think I did one of five five dogs last interviews. You know what I mean? When he was living in the Bay Area, and five dog, five dog. Okay. Like I got, I don't know if you guys even heard of, but people that know about old school hip hop, like I got Just Ice. I got mm, uh, Latoya. The, uh, yeah. Mm, yeah. Audio Two. Ooh yeah. Kid Capri. Milk is uh, chilling. See now. I'm glad you're saying. I keep naming him, bro, because he. Had, well, you had Man, special Sparky ed on D, there, bro. Special ed, Woo. Sparky D, you name it. My Con network's Con big. Conscious daughters. Um, but his network, come MC on, Shy D, 
Mr. Mix, Two Live Crew. Um, I mean, you name it. Like, I have hundreds and hundreds of interviews. Some of them that I haven't even released yet. So, yeah. You know, I just have all of this content. Did you ever? I didn't see. Did you ever get one with Shock G? Um, not an interview, but he did a bunch of drops. That would have been dope. It would have been. Yeah. It would have been, and I thought about it, but um, I think at the time that I thought about it, Shock wasn't. Um, he wasn't in a place where he felt like doing interviews at the time. Yeah, because I was going to ask you. He, I noticed we did a show with him maybe <clears throat> right before DWTX passed away. It was like twenty early twenty sixteen. It was in mm -hmm. Anaheim, Orange County, out this way at Angel Stadium. Okay. And he had, you know, we had opened up for him, and uh, he was there. Shock G or his Humpty Hump. Um, with Fuse and Pee Wee, right? I, I believe so. And I don't know if he went by Digital Underground, though. It was a Shock G trio. Yes. And he brought his keyboard because mm -hmm. he, he liked playing music. That, that's, that's what, what he that, really that was wanted his to passion. do. Yeah, so he wanted to play. So he would. He wanted to play. Was that the separation of. Now, were you still doing Digital Underground shows during that time? Um, Back no, in 2016? From, from like. We officially stopped doing shows together in 2012. Okay. But we would. Here and there, we would do spot dates. But it was kind of like, hey, I'm about to go do the Shock G Trio because I want to I want to do it the way, because I know where you were going. But that was part of the separation. He wanted to do something other than to get up. So it was his call to say, but it was all love, though. It wasn't like, man, fuck you, motherfucker. I'm gonna nah, do no, because nah, 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 nah. he doesn't strike me that kind of dude. No, nah, he's just like, hey, let's, let's take a break. And then I want to do it. I want to try it this way. And I was like, all right, cool. Um... You know, but I still want to do it this way. Yeah. And then we, you know, for um, a period of time, it was like, all right, I'm gonna be, he's gonna be the Shock G Trio. Yeah. And I'm Money B of Digital Underground. Um, we did that, and then um, I want to say, you know, right around twenty, around 2014, you know, he hit me up. He was like, yo, I got this guy. You should meet him. You know, I'm mentoring him to to play me mm. in the new Tupac movie that's coming. That you know they're about to Young Hump. Filming. Yeah, and he was like, "Take him, and you you know, you guys can go do the show the, the way that you want to always want to do it." Right. And at first, I was like, ah, "I don't know." I thought it was like a setup. You know what I mean? Like, who are you? Who's this guy? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. And then when I finally met him, I gave it a shot, and we did some things, and it started to work out. And Shock actually made Young Hump an official member of Digital Underground. He's the last person Yo, that Shock can we, can, indoctrinated. Can we get some love for that, man? Come on, bro. Shout out to Young Hump. Shout out to Shock G for hey. putting on Young Hump because it's humble. That's a humble move, bro. That's that's Word. a selfless move right there. Word. That's when you say, you know what, my G? I'm going to go do this thing, but mm -hmm. I still want you to carry it on and get yours, homie. And, yeah. and not only that, I'm going to add this talent. But he was, but he was also genius because you know later on he, he intimated that, you know we wanted, we eventually we wanted to do like this big reunion. Yeah. And like you know, Shock's dream was always just to be able to play the music. So finally, we found somebody that could actually play the Humpty character, so that he didn't have to be the Humpty character. Right. So when we got back together, he could just be the musician Dope. and be Shock G that he always wanted to be. Right. Why he can get another guy? Because we've always had people play that character. Well, his brother played it. His brother played back it. Back in the day. A few other people played it. But n we could never find anybody that looked like it and could actually rhyme. And Young Hump, he's a beast. He can do it. Let me ask you, Shock G, and I probably know this, I read somewhere, but like he was like a, uh, he comes with a musical background, obviously, right? Well, he's self-taught. Okay. So he'd rather be the musician, sounds like, rather than... Because he developed all these characters. Who were you saying? Yeah, I think I was reading like he had a bunch of different personas, yeah, right? he had a bunch of them. You know, like, uh, how many do you think? Too many. You what know, what yeah. were some of the ones what you What was the one of those uh, MC... Uh, what, Blowfish? MC Blowfish. 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 He was Blowfish? Yeah, he was in The fuck <laughs> out of here! <laughs> to fucking blow my MC mind Blowfish, right now. Blowfish, Shanti Hum. Wow! Anafu, I was a little kid Washington. bumping Blowfish. Wow. Yeah, like, you know, he had characters the piano man um he was he, you know he was an artist like that he, he was so ahead little, of his time bro musically super, super duper think about it just in our name digital underground we were digital in 1989 1988 everybody else was still analog at the time 
Danny, stop watching the Dallas Cowboy game and hit me a fucking bomb. As a matter of fact, we're going to go ahead and go into standby because we are having some tech issues. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and figure it out, and then we'll be right back. All right. Yeah. 